treat to see you guys after binging this series. Are you all prepared for the world to fall in love with you? No. Um, no. I, I think we just are excited for people to fall in love with the show. Nice. And yeah, if that means that people then enjoy us as people, that's uh, an added bonus. Because I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Yeah, that's, that's the thing that I've been realizing is like, you only know this and then you know that something changes, but you don't know how and you don't know how to prepare because it's something you've never done before. So it's like just like bracing yourself for... Mm -hmm just change mm. in its most ambiguous terms and enjoying the moment as well yeah because you so deserve it i want to take you back to finding out that you got the parts who in your lives had the best reaction and where were you when you found out that you were cast i was at my girlfriend's place um and i got the call i don't know when you guys got the call but i got the call at like midnight because it had been a decision that had been made in la so it was on la time mm. um and so like I was already asleep, and so then but I didn't want to wake up her housemate, so I was in like her robe in the corridor. And I remember being like, Look, it's th these things go either way, and you can't, don't feel sorry for me, don't pity me, I don't want any of that, just it's probably not going to work out. And then I came back in, and I was like, Oh my god, I, I don't know what the hell just happened. Um, and then uh, I was in shock, and she was like, You got to do something to celebrate. And the only place that was open was uh, was was the local uh, snooker club, so uh. We went and played snooker. Um, and that's how we celebrated. But I, I, I don't know who, whose reaction was the best. They were all very lovely. I was at working at a butcher's when I found out um, in Notting Hill. And I missed the first call because my I wasn't supposed to have my phone with me in front of, like, with the meats. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> I her, felt it vibrating because my agent was like, you're probably going to get a, a, the word today. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I felt it vibrating and I had my like elbows in beef guts. Oh. And so I was like trying to get it off, trying to answer at the same time. It wasn't working. The phone goes to voicemail. I'm like, oh God. So then I like try and get on a break, call my agent. He's like, yeah, um, we just found out. Let me just uh, put your mom and your sister on the call. And I was like, okay. So all of us are on like FaceTime and I'm like, just they're like just say it and he's like yeah you got it you know congratulations we're gonna send you the contract and everything and my mom i was like still in shock mm. but my mom and sister were screaming <laughs> like and they're massive fans of bridgerton so they were a lot of like the motivating force in me finding at least like the fuel in myself to continue with the whole audition process because while it was fast, it was super... I mean, it, when you're that close to something so big that is your mm -hmm. dreams, it's, it f freaks you out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, their, their reactions were hand down. I've just got <laughs> visions of meat flying everywhere. It was a <laughs> lot of that. Like, I had to stay late that day to mop up so much guts and so much sinew. It was... But it was worth it. Why are you going to say sinew? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh, I'm a vegetarian now. Fantastic. <laughs> How about for you, India? A lot less dramatic. Mm. I was in the shower and then my phone rang and I thought, okay, I'll pick it up. And then, um, yeah, it was my agent saying that I had a part uh, and I live at home still with my mum. Don't know why I looked at you guys. I'm <laughs> um, like with my mums. Um, and uh, yeah, went downstairs, told her, met a friend for um, some drinks and forgot that I'd mentioned that I was kind of in this process of this audition thing. And she kind of very, you know, uh, brief, briskly asked, oh, um, uh, did, you, did you ever hear back from Queen Charlotte? And she was like cutting into her little halloumi. And I was like, yeah, I, I actually landed it today. And she just stopped. <laughs> she was like, oh my God. And she burst into tears, which is really unlike her. Um, and um, yeah, we got little Prosecco flutes instead of tea, which was nice. But it was very chill, very low key. Oh, I love that. I mean, the chemistry between you all is just chef's kiss. What were your first impressions of each other? Horrendous. Really bad. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh, this is going to be the out. worst six months ever. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. Like, I'm, I feel very, very lucky. And, and it's it's really nice to, to be so genuine, you know, with, mm. with people and, and to actually mean it. Because, um, yeah, you don't always get to work with such kind of considerate and um, human humans. Um, so, yeah, I feel very lucky. And we were actually at dinner last night. Um, all of us, and we were just saying, I mean, just the nostalgia is so real because mm. it's, 
it was just such a lovely job and lovely people and you know uh once in a lifetime really like that that many lovely people in, in that yeah in uh, in one space yeah it's just the dream cast how was the rap party i bet that was fun it happened at the same time as carnival oh, oh my gosh yes. yeah so it was like a lot of us coming back from carnival and like other people like dress nicely it was yeah, the yeah. perfect mix of, mix of yeah everybody but it's weird when you're like with people who voluntarily want to be with each other like no one had to come to that rap party mm. and yet yeah, we yeah. were all there yeah and it was it was a blast you guys left really nice. early the rest yeah. of us we were going on till the a.m why no you left early. i i was i was there until they shut the place because i remember walking the streets okay then you were there longer than oh, me oh really oh mm. there we go. he's yeah. hardcore this one yeah he is. <laughs> learning that every day very yeah. metal very metal yeah, yeah yeah why me charlotte there are worse fates than marrying the king of england people have been commenting on the trailer saying that they had full body chills over charlotte saying fight with me fight for me fight with me fight for me i completely ruined that no you didn't no. Right. yeah you did it better than me yeah. <laughs> what are some of your favorite lines from the series oh there's a there's a scene right at the end um in episode six the king hey um has a ball um mm. and he uh has his man servant who is Reynolds who plays is played by um Freddie and uh Brimsley who is Charlotte's kind of right hand man um they are putting the the ball together and Reynolds uh, is like very pinnickety and he's like getting everything really perfect Brimsley's like it's fine like I you know I I've got I've got it under control and he's like you know trying to reassure him and then he sees something else and and um Sam just goes walking away I'm walking away <laughs> and he just like just does it so you know i can't do it justice but he does it perfectly yeah, and it's it just yeah. yeah it's very very comical and um i think a lot of people will relate to having that partner or that person in your life that's like really yeah very particular about things probably me um and then they're like i can't i can't deal with this anymore like love you but i've, I've got to go oh summer so how about for you what's one of your favorite lines from the series okay there are two i always have two everything one when tunji says shut up to nice. you in the character it's mm. it, i mean not because i would ever say that to, but the way he says it and knowing tunji is just so different that i can't help but like burst out laughing at that point and also it's that one place that is it doesn't feel like period it feels very current mm. in period environment so it just does that like bridging right immediately to like where we are today mm. Um, and then there's a line that I have when I'm talking to Princess Augusta um, about being from Sierra Leone. That I mean, that whole entire speech, it is like my favorite speech to uh, like as of now to have ever said as an actor. So um, I won't say it all because I have oh, forgotten it. <laughs> oh, it's all right. You can watch it on Netflix. Hey. <laughs> but um, yeah, those two together both different amazing love it and how about for you Corey? i would say there is a scene uh with with, with the two of us um and freddie uh dennis oh, yeah, is in the scene and um it's very simply i all i say is get out reynolds um and freddie who i i love and cherish and i now live with um uh it was just a pleasure getting about 30 chances to Tell him to f off, yeah. um, which was which is a joy. Um, yeah, so very crudely that there are loads of lovely, lovely like sentimental lines and mm -hmm. you know stuff that was really powerful. Um, but I, if I got to go with one, I'm, I'm going to go with that. Grimsley, tell me about the king. Is he ugly? Perhaps deformed? He is the king. Yes. And the love story between King George and Queen Charlotte is just beautiful. If they were regular people in today's world, mm. how do you reckon George would slide into Charlotte's DMs to try and go out with her? <clears throat> yeah, Corey. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I reckon it would be Charlotte. No, you, you wouldn't want to. You Absolutely wouldn't want to. Not. Hmm. What would his chat be? What would his chat be? Something um, to do with the stars or. Do you know what? It would probably be uh, the the least committal, least vulnerable, um, like most protective. He'd probably send you an emoji. Like, hey. Hey, two wise. <gasps> yeah. What are these? Yeah. Um, maybe just like a picture. That'd be it. Yeah. Okay. That's not great, not, chat. Not great chat. No, well, jo look, George does not have great chat. He doesn't. 
He does. He, oh. No, he does actually. He's able to sort of get to a place where he 